Okay, thank you very much uh, for the chairman. Uh, today I will share my experience about uh, using endoscopic uh, spine procedure. My topic is percutaneous endoscopic cervical discectomy, technical procedure in cases. This is my uh, center, Lamina Pain and Spine Center. Lamina is the largest spine endoscopic ne neurosurgery center in Indonesia. Uh, established since uh, 2015 and located in Jakarta. Jakarta is the capital city of Indonesia. We have four branches now and the concept is one-stop uh, services, including spine pain and physical uh, rehabilitation. There are nine specialist doctors work in this uh, center, including neurosurgeons, anesthesiology, physical medicine, and also rehabilitation physician. This is my experience since 2015. Uh, we have 1,200 cases, including cervical thoracic and lumbar. And today, according uh, to my cervical experience, 99 cases uh, PECD surgery, uh, anterior and posterior approach, start from November 2018 and until September 2021. As we know that uh, recent gold standard for cervical discrimination are ACDF, uh, anterior cervical disectomy fusion, and also posterior approach, uh, we call it laminotomy. Uh, of course, we know that uh, these two techniques have some limitation, like uh, long surgical incision, uh, extensive soft tissue stripping, serotrosis, degeneration of adjacent segment. Uh, sometimes a uh, patient uh, complain with difficulty in uh, swallowing, focal palsy, and foreign body sensation. And the other side, uh, BCD have some advantage like uh, less tissue dissection, less muscle trauma, and, and uh, also less damage to epidural blood uh, supply, reduce hospital stay, of course, and uh, no need interbody fusion and many else. Uh, as indication and contraindication uh, of the anterior procedure, indications are contained or non-contained and central operator central disherniation, which is not responding to conservative treatment of uh, appropriate dura uh, duration with correlated MRI and CT, CT image. And another indication uh, like annular tear with uh, concordant pain and provocative discography. As a contraindication, uh, <coughs> uh, calcified this, migrated discernation, collapse this, which is less than a millimeter uh, wide. And it's uh, become a contraindication if we found uh, instability infection and also past history of uh, anterior cervical surgery. And posterior approach also have indication and contraindication and indications are for a man uh, uh, pre predominantly unilateral arm pain, and also single or multilateral form of stenosis, and persistent symptoms despite uh, previous anterior cervical disectomy infusion, and also cranial cranial color dismigration, and concurrent foramen stenosis and failed conservative therapy for at least six weeks. As contraindications are axial neck pain, instability, present of uh, cervical kyphosis, cervical myelopathy, uh, or intercranial stenosis, and uh, many else. This is uh, the instrument that we need to, this, uh, uh, to do this procedure. Uh, it's very simple, also very small, uh, like uh, endoscope. We need a uh, working cannula uh, and also endoscopic drilling. Ferrison punch uh, for some size, and of course, continuous irrigation uh, saline solution, radio frequency probe, and CR. And as a preparation before uh, this procedure, uh, we, we, we need to uh, prepare some uh, radiologic Im imaging, like C spinal CR uh, X ray, and also the gold standard. Uh, is uh, C-spine MRI, 
sometimes we need a C spine CT scan uh, for some detailing cases. Uh, now, this is an anterior approach PCD. Uh, this is a very, uh, I know this is a, a very rare approach uh, done by doctor uh, at this time. Uh, the key point, a key, key point uh, are a target-oriented percutaneous anterior approach. And uh, the second one is adequate annular release before the removal of the hernated fragment. And also precise determination of endpoint of surgery. For our consider consideration uh, from anterior uh, approach, uh, we must consider uh, with carotid artery, pretrafial fascia, larynx, trachea, thyroid, and pharynx uh, esophagus. Uh, this anterior procedure usually uh, used with uh, general anesthesia and uh, position of the patient is a supine position. Uh, the neck is slightly extend, head stabilization, neck shoulder padding, and the shoulder are pulled down and the arm are fixed to the side of the table. And uh, the step is making a marking the level and uh, the uh, midline are marked using a fluoroscope. Continue with uh, the anterior uh, cervical skin is prepared and draped. Uh, we can inject 1% lecnocaine, uh, infiltrate into the skin and subcutaneous tissue at the entry point. And uh, the very important uh, uh, is uh, carotid pulse is palpate. Yeah. And uh, the tracheoesophageal complex is gently passed away and displace the tracheoesophageal complex medially and carotid sit uh, laterally. And continue with uh, needle placement, insert to the target of the disc, uh, continue to, uh, with the discography. And uh, after discography, we, we can uh, make a guideware placement, yeah, insertion to the disc and continue with the skin incision. After skin incision, we're inserting uh, some uh, dilators and working uh, portal, uh, portal establishment is very important. And incision, uh, at the last, we make incision of the endoscope. Uh, after endoscope come into the target area, the first, we uh, make a soft tissue clearance and locate the hernia fragment. Uh, of course, we, we do this procedure uh, by using a fluoroscopy as a guidance and uh, we uh, remove the hernia fragment, uh, also bleeding uh, control using irrigation and confirm the adequacy of the compression and uh, finally, uh, skin closure. And now this uh, posterior approach procedure, this is uh, uh, some cases. These are some cases. Uh, case number one, male, 43 years old, uh, come with uh, radiating uh, pain, right arm since years ago, uh, and no improvement with many treatment modality. The first step, uh, we, uh, if we plan uh, skin initiation, uh, skin initiation is related to the fee point. Fee point is bounded by the inferior margin of the cephalic lamina and the medial junction of the facet joint and super margin of the caudal lamina. Uh, and uh, the skin in in incision make uh, one centimeter away from midline of the cervical spine and less than one centimeter than need. Uh, usually I, I make incision only seven millimeter uh, uh, wide. And, and next, the obturator working channel and endoscope are introduced sequentially. This is a picture how uh, we plan, make uh, marking uh, at the patient's skins. Uh, of course, we use a uh, C-arm and continue with the skin insertion. After skin insertion, seven millimeter, we we put in the needle and serial dilator, finish with the cannula, and endoscope come into the target area. The next step, 
uh, after endoscopy coming into the uh, target area, we have to uh, make a preparation of feed point. Uh, feed point, uh, as we know, uh, muscle attach around the feed point uh, and clear out with the forceps. We can clear out with the forceps and coagulator. And also, we have to see the ligament and flavon. We have to find where is the information of the cranial lamina and where is the supra margin of the lamina and starting point of the facet joint are uh, visualized. Uh, uh, point is very important to uh, this procedure. This is how should we clear the uh, muscle using uh, cautery and probe. Uh, cautery should be used uh, very carefully and we, we must avoid uh, uh, damage uh, to the ligament of platform. Uh, and uh, cautery will uh, make uh, evaporation uh, the muscle until we find the margin of the lamina, lamina bone cranially, and also lamina bone caudally. And also in this uh, process, we can find the V-shape. After we get the uh, V-shape, we identify uh, the ligamentum platform uh, by palpate with the dissector and check the position of the bone and also soft tissue. And uh, the next step is make a foraminotomy by using drilling uh, bore. We need three millimeter diamond bore uh, and extent of bone drilling is dependent on the size of an, and location of the hernated disc material. And it is usually we need three to four millimeter radius on the V-shape. And the sequence, the sequence of the drilling is cranial lamina continue with caudal lamina, and the last one is a facet joint. Uh, this is how we uh, do lamina, cranially and caudally, and then to the uh, facet. And after drilling, uh, we make a preparation of epidural space. Uh, we make a flavectomy using terrison punch, one millimeter or three millimeter or five millimeter. Uh, the disc space is exposed and cleared with the uh, coagulator and forceps, and, and carefully we can make identification of the lateral edge of dura and branching of the nerve root. This is a picture uh, how we can uh, make a, a flavectomy using a carison punch. And the, must, uh, the last and the important one is uh, make a disectomy. Disectomy, before disectomy, we, we should make coagulation of venous plexus and continue with the identification of lateral margin of dura and dissected from the disc and posterior margin of the vertebral body. Remove uh, uh, ruptured disc using endoscopy and forcep carefully and uh, close with uh, uh, shooter uh, with using nylon. And sometimes we can put drain if uh, needed. The second case, uh, male, uh, 44 years old, uh, come with uh, neck pain and radicutting pain to right hand and no metal weakness and no significant improvement after conservative uh, treatment. Uh, this is the MRI. Uh, we can see that uh, the problem comes from the, the disc at the level of C cervical number 5, 6. Uh, this is the axial view. Uh, we can see the fragment, fragment come uh, into the foramen uh, at the right side. Uh, this is the preparation uh, surgical area. After marking the skin, we start with uh, seven millimeter incision, introducing a ser serial dilator, and continue with control the level uh, uh, using fluoroscopy, and step by step until we insert the canon S scope. At this video, uh, we start with preparation of feed point uh, using cautery to uh, vaporize uh, debris and muscle and finding, finding the, uh, the border of lamina and facet joint. 
and and we continue continue with keyhole for aminotomy using three millimeter diamond bore sequence from uh, lamina cranially and uh, lamina cordially and after that uh, uh, we move to the facet and the next uh, we make a flavectomy using a one millimeter caisson punch and also forceps. And after that, after we see the dura mater, uh, we can palpate, uh, palpate all surrounding structure with nerve hub. Of course, we uh, should very carefully and avoid bleeding uh, from this process, this process and avoid uh, make a trauma to the medium. And the next is discography. We can use in the upper main and discography uh, if you need. And the next step is uh, discectomy. Uh, discectomy is the main step from uh, uh, this uh, posterior procedure. As we can see, this fragment is blue color and we can take it carefully uh, using forceps. The uh, final one, uh, uh, we should identify the cause of, uh, of decompression uh, because uh, the adequate decompression uh, is very related to the clinical results or for a patient. The last one, this is uh, the third case, female, 50 years old, uh, come with uh, neck pain reticulating to arm, uh, no motor weakness. This is the MRI. We can see from Sagittal and Axial, the problem comes uh, multi-level, uh, three, three level from the cervical. We start uh, the operation. Uh, the first is clearance, make a clearance and, uh, fee, uh, and find the fee point using cautery and forceps. And we can see the position of lamina cranially and caudally and fa uh, facet joint. We use dissector or nerve hook for, for this uh, step. Continue with the foraminotomy using uh, drill diamond bore, three millimeter, start from cranial lamina and next to the caudally lamina and move to the facet joint. And the next step is uh, macrofavectomy. We can uh, remove ligamentum platform using one millimeter or three millimeter carousel punch uh, gently. And in this step, we must avoid the dural tear. Uh, dural tear is one of uh, some complications that we can uh, find uh, if we make mistakes. Uh, and by using all these instruments, uh, gently we can avoid uh, dura tear. And sometimes, uh, if bleeding come from the uh, microvascular, we can use cautery to stop uh, the bleeding. And also, we can adjust uh, water pressure to stop the bleeding. And next, uh, we we have to. Before finish, we have to palpate all structures uh, to find where is the stenosis uh, area. And sometimes we can find calcified structure or compress the, the nerve uh, far from the uh, area. Okay, uh, I think this uh, uh, complication, typical complication of the endoscopic procedure are dural tear and sometimes we can make a narrow tissue damage uh, and also our reaction and mastery of endoscopic technique reduce this complication is safe, effective and minimally invasive procedures uh, for cervical radiculopathy or even part of the myelopathy. Thank you very much.